So what we're doing today is just going to be a bit of a brief video just to go into some of the intuition when looking at fractions, which will help a lot when it comes to operations of multiplying and dividing by fractions. Now, in a previous video I did called equivalent fractions, I sort of um, hinted at, at something like this, right? And it has a lot to do with um, the language we use when we describe mathematical operations. So that'll all become clear quite soon, but we're just going to start with just the idea of kind of, we, we have four blocks here. There can be four blocks of chocolate or just four boxes, anything we want them to be. And now when we, <clears throat> excuse me, when we actually take these, um, when we work with equivalent fractions or we, we do kind of operations with these, right? We, if we wanted to take, I guess, half of these four blocks, what our brain kind of goes to immediately is, well, okay, we have four box and we want to essentially split them up into two equal portions, right? We want to draw some dividing line that gives us a portion here and a portion here. Now, this is like saying, well, we've taken these four and we've divided by two. Or we divided by two here. Now, equally, an equivalent statement to that that we can make is, well, okay, we well, we divided four by two. Or we also maybe wanted to take half of four. So in, in essence, I'm going to put in brackets here, we take half lots of four. Now, when we, when we look at this word lots of, if you think back to um, primary school, the first time you're kind of taught multiplication, right? You, when we take something lots of something, we multiply. So we take two lots of four. We've got four and another four that gives us eight and, you know, three lots of six and, and et cetera, et cetera. So essentially when we, when we say lots of, we're looking at some kind of multiplication. So this implies that we're taking half of four, right? And both of these things, whether we did say, let's pick another color here. Whether we did four times a half, taking half lots of four, or dividing four by two, we get an equivalent answer. Now, dividing four by two, we'll get two here. Now, when we multiply, when we take, this is what we also call fractions of a quantity. When we take a half lot, a fraction of four, so a smaller part of it, we can numerically write this as, well, your, your four is getting, again, divided by two. And if we simplify top and bottom here, we divide both the top and the bottom by two, we get two. Now, this, this particular example here, I'll go into in, in more details with the actual mathematical procedure here will become clear in later videos. This is just something more, um, just to give you a bit of an intuition as to 
when we, whether we say we're, you know, dividing by a number or taking a certain fraction, lots of a number, we're making equivalent statements. And this is going to be very important when we go into multiplying and dividing fractions. Now, let's have one more example, or maybe two more, and we'll see if we pick up on any types of patterns here. Now, I'm going to work through this one a little bit quicker because hopefully we've sort of got the idea by now. Um, say I had, let's, let's mix this up. Um, say I have my six coins, for example. So these can be like, if you're from Australia, like me, these can be like $2 coins, um, that you're divvying up amongst your friends. Now, let's say we wanted to. Um, we wanted to find a third of this six. And we wanted essentially to split this up into three equal bits. Now I'm going to do what I did before and I will kind of just divvy up all of my coins here. And finally, these ones here. Now I have essentially fractured this. I, I've made, I've taken fractions of this, these six coins. I've broken them up into bite-sized portions, essentially, like little, you know, bits that make up the whole. And I've broken this into three separate, separate lots of, we can see here, two coins. Now, mathematically, we, we split this up into three. So, well, we can say what we did here was we took six and divided it by three, which gave us two. And each of these pairs of coins make up a third of our whole, our whole kind of sample, which is our six coins. So, that was like we took a third lots of six. So we took third lots of six, which we know from our example was two. One more here, and then we're, we're gonna consolidate all this information and, um, and come up with essentially a very important observation when it comes to these, um, these fractions. So let's say, okay, um, Cool. Let's let's get another sort of quantity here. So I'm gonna go. All right. I'm I'm gonna have kind of sixteen. Um, let's say these are these like purple stickers. Um, you can see I'm clearly running out of ideas, but that is okay. I'm gonna draw out all of these, and we are going to essentially find a quarter of these sixteen. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Let's make them 12. It's a bit easier. 11, 12. I have 16 purple stickers that I'm divvying up between four of my friends. So we essentially want four equal portions of this hole. Our hole here is 12 stickers. And we want to find four equal portions here. And you can draw these in like a book as well and, and work through with me if you'd like. Um, but to speed up time, I'm going to just break these up all in sort of the same color. So, okay, let's, let's kind of just draw these dividing lines here. So we have 12 all together and we want to split that into four separate bits. So we will have three in each because we have divided by four. I'm dividing this equally amongst me and my other three friends. Now, once again, I have 12 as my whole and I've divided this into four equal portions to give me three. Each of these three make up, we could say a quarter of my entire whole, my whole being my 12 stickers. 
once again. We're taking a quarter lots of 12. Now, let's pause for a minute. Let's look at each of these. I'm gonna like laser point all of these. Let's look at this example, this example, and going further up, this example. Oh, this one I should say. What did we notice? Have, have a moment just to pause the video and have a think. When we multiply and divide, in each of these cases, what do we see a pattern happening here? And if you've joined me back after having a think, you would have possibly been able to pick up on intuitively that, okay, every time I multiplied by a fraction, so I took a fraction of my whole quantity. So here I took half lots of, of four here. That was the same as dividing by my denominator here, right? We have two here, we have two here. What else? Okay, when we divided six by three, ooh, we also took a third lots of six. So our, our number here on our left became our denominator and the exact same thing here. So, this is the idea of a reciprocal. So the reciprocal of one number, so say I had um, had the number six, it's reciprocal, recip, it's reciprocal would be one divided by this number and so on and so forth. So. This works both ways, back and forth. Now, I hope this example just gave you a bit of an indication of something very important, which is the reciprocal. And when we do operations with fractions, so say I wanted to say, okay, give me what is a third of six? What is a third lots of six? That's the same as going, well, I have my third. If I'm taking a third lot of something, I can just divide by that original number by our fractions reciprocal. So that was a lot of content for today. I hope this is all making a little bit of sense, but you can mess around, pick a bunch of numbers, maybe some neat ones that can be easily divided and have a go yourselves. And you may notice you'll see some, some patterns emerging. Thanks so much for watching guys. I'll see you next time.